Hi guys, it's miserable out there at the moment, it's slop. Even the hardcore mountain bikers of you, I've been seeing your, your Instagram posts and your Facebook posts saying you're absolutely sick of the slop. I was like that two months ago. But I'm going to put a video out today and this is of Clent Hills and it was before the National Trust actually destroyed the trails by felling trees over the making lies saying it was diseased trees even though they put them over the trails. Basically it was my favourite trails as of last April and there's a, there's a good selection, there's some new ones that actually came about towards the end of the year that the trail picks is made um, but these were my favourite trails and these have been my favourite trails for about uh, four or five years. Enjoy the video. Let's have a look at these trails, shall we? Right, off we go. So Titan Twisty is about three mile into the seven mile it takes us to actually get to the Clent Hills. It's, uh, watch that route there, that's had me here a couple of times, and it's fantastic, little down and up. It's a fantastic bit, it's really sandy now, and coming up to this bit here, this is where I came off last March and broke my hand. Uh, it's a fantastic area for kids to do a bit of digging, sometimes they get it right, sometimes they get it wrong, there's a couple of doubles here that they, they got completely wrong to be honest. But it's a lot of fun, it's a very short bit, and I think uh, you can do it on the Strava in about 30 seconds. Second bit, the Mill Downhill. This is a really fast bit, so you have to be very careful about walkers and dog walkers. Luckily, nothing really gets in your field of view uh, in the way of trees and stuff like that, so you can actually see quite a, quite a distance. And there's nothing really challenging here. You have got a section coming up, which is a quite a bad off camber bit, and you can't see how off camber it actually is. Right here, you're going to see Ben Gorpit now. There, he always takes a note the line up there that makes me really nervous. Well, if you look to the left, you can see uh, quite a deep ravine, so you have to stay quite right here, which is quite difficult in the winter because you've got these holly bushes, they like to, to claw at you and attack you like triffids. Little section there again in the wind in the summer, the foliage grows over it, so it kind of screws your line up. Cobra Jeff Trail, so we're at Clent Hills now, and this is. A wicked trail. Uh, it's in three sections, which I think why the National Trust keep felling trees over it, uh, which is a big pain in the ass. And the trail pixies diverse around the trees, and it, it wrecks the flow of the trail. I'm never ever going to complain about dusty conditions again. Look, judging by you know looking at this winter, how wet and disgusting everything is. This section here fills up with quite a lot of water in the winter. You go over a little roller here, depending on how high your bottom bracket is or low your bottom bracket is, you're going to hit that on your chain ring. And we're coming up to a section here where it drops down onto the main pedestrian path. And again, I don't think the National Trust like this very much. So this is after the first time the National Trust closed it off and the Trail Pixies actually did a diversion and we were doing it for the first time so we didn't exactly know where we were going so we were taking our time down here. A few nasty routes that could catch you out and coming into a fast sweeping berm or it's not as fast now, now it's been diverted into that but again the National Trust thank you very much they've closed it all off again. A couple of drops down here. You can go a lot faster than this. And there's a, a fork, so you can go left here or you can stay on the route that we're on now. Very, very steep this section, so you've got to be careful, especially when it's a bit slick. The village. The village is a wicked track. It's very fast, not very long. And this is actually Ben La that was on the, my new bike. I think I'd had this bike about a week and it was the Cube Stereo 150. Awesome bike, carbon frame really really fast and Ben was just testing it for the first time so he goes over a little jump here and then Ben doesn't jump and he actually got a bit of air there so that's the credit of, of, of the bike and Ben sorry Ben you are you are good on the bike a little double there and this section here this this is a brilliant section it's very hard to get control down this section especially in the winter and the bluebells are out look so I think this was April this section's really steep 
goes very fast into a step up. But as you can see from the terrain, it's really off camber. So in the winter, you've got to be very careful on these little sniper routes that are actually coming down. Cast bit there, and again, it goes into the steeps again. Love that try, absolutely love it. There's me in my one shirt. Okay, this was a fairly new trail, dug out at the beginning of last year. Again, the National Trust have felled trees across it, so we can't do it. But I think that's because, um, from what they said, it was affecting the residences, the residents' houses at the bottom of this trail. Uh, all the water was actually running down and then flooding some of the gardens. So that's the, that's what they say, why they say they've closed it off. But this trial was wicked. I, I just wish it was still open now because um, I was getting closer and closer to that Strava time. <laughs> really fast, really loose down here. Um, the mulch in, in the summer when it's dry like this, it, it, it's very, very dusty. And uh, there was not a lot of traction, but I, I suppose that's where the thrill is. This bit was incredibly steep. And again, it comes on to the bottom where the actual uh, cobbled path is that goes up to the top of the water. And that's what the residents were complaining about. The spine's an interesting one. Last year, or the year before last, they actually uh, did a bit of a, a renovation. They filled in a lot of the ruts. Yeah, you see that dog walker? She heard us ages before we actually went past because we called out to her and uh, that over-dramatisation, which is what we get a lot of in Clint. Yeah, they filled in a lot of these ruts. Um, basically, the ruts is what made this section challenging, especially when you do it fast. Uh, I think I uh, damaged two rims down here in, a, in, a, in the space of six months, uh, just by going too, I was on a hard tail, just by going too fast over certain sections and uh, pinch flat in my rim. But this bit's always good. Because um, you've got the anticipation to go into the, into the next section, which is one of our all-time favourite sections, which is Rooty Bit, and it's just to the right down here. Now they haven't closed this bit off because it is actually classed as a possessory, and why there's a gate at the bottom. And the five years I've been riding this section, the last year since COVID, there's been so many walkers come up, and the four years previous, we had no one ever come up this section. Again, I'm on a hard task, so I'm taking it a bit easy down here, but here are the walkers. So again, you have to be quite careful. But the camera doesn't show it. GoPro effect, obviously, in full effect here. The camera doesn't show how steep these bits actually are. Coming down where the gate is here, about <laughs> three years ago, a friend of mine went through that gate, went straight on, and went over the bars into this nettle patch. And he was in agony for about two weeks. I did laugh my ass off when I got home, but obviously he didn't look like he was in the mood <laughs> when he actually went through them. So there we go, my favourite trails. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe, usual thing. Um, it is really unfortunate that, um, you know, as the sport of mountain biking is growing, we've tried to contact the National Trust regarding felling trees over things like that. We've even contacted the local MP for the area. Uh, so if, if anyone knows of anybody that could help, you know, um, getting some kind of communication with the National Trust, much appreciated, get us in touch. Uh, but until then, it ain't going to stop, is it? We're going to still dig. Um, it's a lot safer for the people on paths. Uh, it's a lot safer for the mountain bikes to be away from the people on paths. See you next week. <laughs>